Welcome to Learn JavaScript on Code Academy. We're in the control flow section. This is lesson six, logical operators. And it says, so far we've been able to translate certain thoughts into JavaScript code like, are these things equal with triple equal signs or is one thing greater than another with the greater than less than symbol? In English, sometimes we say both of these things or either one of these things. Let's translate those phrases into JavaScript with some special operators called logical operators. To say both must be true, we can use and. To say either thing can be true, we can use or. To say I want to make sure this is the opposite of what it really is, we can use the not symbol. To say these should not be equal to each other, we can use not and then the equals. For example, if stoplight equals green and pedestrian equals false, then we would run this, this code. So both stoplight must equal green and pedestrians must equal false for this console log to run. In this example above, we make sure that the stoplight is green and there are no pedestrians before we log go. If either of those conditions are false, we log stop. Just like the operators we learned previously, these logical operators will return either true or false. These logical operators are helpful when writing if-else statements since they let us make sure multiple variables are true or false. So the instructions say, let's say the werewolf can only become its wolf form when there is a full moon and it's a foggy night. We already have a moon phase variable, so let's start with making a foggy night variable set equal to true. So here we'd make a variable foggy night and assign it true so we should be able to run this so we did this first part now it says now set moon face to full again so we're setting it full again in the first condition of the if else statement make sure the moon phase is equal to full moon phase equals full and foggy night are true using and so here we would add a condition and foggy night is true. Probably make that triple. So this is going to take moon phase equals full and foggy night equals true. If that, if either of these isn't uh, true, then it will not run the code inside. So it says, uh, note, if else statements check the trueness of or falseness of variables. So there's not need to write, I'm thinking that they meant, so there's no need to write foggy night equals true. You only need to write foggy night and you'll get the same result. So what you're saying here is that whatever is assigned here, if it is assigned true, we don't actually have to even write this in here. We just leave it like that, foggy night. And it's automatically going to return either true or false without me having to say foggy night equals true. So if we run this, we see everything's good still. It says now change the foggy night variable to equal false and run it again. So now if I write false here, it will not run the if here. It will actually probably run the default, which is invalid moon phase. Let's try it. As you guys can see, invalid moon phase. So for says notice that the default else will print to the console that's because and requires both moon phase and foggy night to be true to execute its code block so now let's try out or use or in place of the and that you wrote in the previous step to make the if else statement print how if moon phase is full or if foggy night is true so if we just change this now as long as either of these are true then it will run the code inside which is this how Foggy night is false, but moon phase is equal to true, and therefore it will run. So it runs the code block, and it therefore prints once I run this. As you guys can see, it printed howl. Now 5 says the first if statement block was executed. That is because moon phase is full, which is true. The or operator only needs one thing to be true in order to return true. Click next to continue. That is it for this lesson. This was logical operators in Learn JavaScript's control flow section.